Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Antoine Jameson coming at you with a new video today. If you guys can't tell, I'm rocking a Los Angeles Lakers jersey today and that is because I'm going to go through the Los Angeles Lakers and the Minneapolis Lakers um, uniform history. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. In 1946, the franchise was born. But they were actually born as the Detroit Gems in, instead of what we know them as today. The very next season though, they were relocated to Minneapolis, Minnesota and renamed the Lakers. With this change, they actually converted to the BAA, which was the official precursor of the NBA, which is where we will begin this jersey history. Their original jerseys were the ones we all know today. The home jersey was white, featured Lakers in baby blue on the front, and had numbers on the shorts in the corner. The away jersey was blue, featured MPLS in yellow font, and are just a timeless classic. Oddly enough though, these jerseys were only around from 1948 until 1952. In 1952, while the home jerseys stayed the same, the away jerseys actually changed to now say Lakers in yellow on the front and featured a white outline around the letters and numbers. One thing I found about these jerseys is that the colors were actually kind of inconsistent. When I say inconsistent, I mean entirely different jerseys completely. I found this picture right here of George Mikan wearing a green Lakers jersey. Now I can't find any information on if this was a real thing or not, so I'm going to assume it was just like an old picture that was colorized wrong or something like that, and that's what they came up with, but it's still something to note. In 1958, this was the first official rebrand of the team. These home jerseys, while still very similar, now featured stars around the Lakers wordmark. The away jersey actually eliminated the gold from the jersey, and were now just baby blue with white wordmark, numbers, and stars. They wore these jerseys for only about two seasons or so, and in 1960, the Lakers moved from Minneapolis to Los Angeles. The Lakers decided to rebrand a little bit again for the move, and these brought in the classic dark blue in the jerseys that we know today. These jerseys featured Los Angeles in cursive, with the white jersey having baby blue and dark blue accents, with the dark blue jersey having white and baby blue accents. These jerseys featured Lakers going vertical down the shorts. They wore these from 1960 to 1966, when they rebranded into the gold and purple. In 1966, with a move to the Los Angeles Forum, Lakers decided to change their home jersey to feature gold as the main colors, with Lakers in a stylized font across the front. The away jerseys were now purple, and the numbers were color blocked with the opposite's color. Oddly enough, these jerseys had, a, had slight modifications over the years, but were featured as main jerseys from 1966 all the way until 1999. That is 33 years without a rebrand. If you didn't notice as well, the Lakers logo on the front was tilted a little, but we'll get into that later. In 1972, the Lakers actually changed up their jerseys a little, changing the waistband to a bold color and adding the Lakers logo to each side of the shorts. In 1974, just two years later, the logo on the shorts was removed, but the waistband stayed the same. In 1978, the Lakers both straightened up the word mark on the front to make the Lakers straight instead of tilted like I said before, and they also changed the home jersey to have purple surrounded by white in the numbers instead of the opposite. Funnily enough, these will actually look super weird and wrong to me, um, even though I've probably seen these more often than like the original version, but it just kind of looks a little weird to me. But since 1978, the Lakers did not make any changes to the uniforms until 1999. In 1999, the Lakers rebranded into what they are using currently. These are a modernized version of the first purple and gold jerseys, with a different siding on each side as well as it just looking more, you know, modern. Um, also, since the Lakers started their three-peat run this season, they wore as final patches in all three seasons. The first two seasons were exactly the same with the patch just saying the NBA Finals. In 2002, the Lakers had two new home jerseys added to the rotation. The first time in their history that they didn't have just home and away jerseys. During the season, the Lakers introduced their Sunday Whites. These jerseys were only worn on Sunday and were the first time the Lakers wore white since the 1965-66 season. Also, during this year, there were MPLS throwbacks and these were pretty much the same other than longer shorts. In the 2002 finals, the Lakers actually had a new patch, which was the O'Brien trophy behind the NBA logo. They actually didn't wear their white jerseys in these finals, so only the home and away featured the patch. 
Funnily enough, they actually did play on a Sunday in the series, but they were in New Jersey, so they wore purple. Also, during the 2002 season, as well as every other team in the league, the Lakers rocked a 9-11 patch across from the NBA logo. While every other team rocked this, the Lakers probably had the most recognition from this, as this was actually the only time Kobe wore an MPLS jersey, as well as them like going through the finals in these. Um, that's just something to note. One jersey that was seen during this time was actually it was the original black fake throwback that Kobe wore with this picture of him standing with three trophies. This jersey was actually never worn, but was featured on the cover of Slam Magazine in February of 2003. It would have been sick if they wore these, but sadly this is all we got. In 2004, the Lakers actually wore another throwback. Um, this was the 1960 throwback to the Lakers first season in Los Angeles. These were the same but did have longer shorts like I said before. Also, the Lakers went to the finals this season, and the O'Brien trophy was across from the NBA logo instead of behind it. This was also the first time since 1966 the Los Angeles Lakers wore a white uniform in the finals. In 2005, the Lakers featured a 1958 throwback that was baby blue and white. This was pretty much the same like I said before except it had longer shorts. In 2007, the Lakers actually rocked a New Jersey again, this one being something I had actually never seen before. This was the original Noche Latina jersey, I think the first one the NBA actually introduced. Um, this actually featured different countries' flags instead of like purple down the siding of the white jerseys. This was the first original Noche Latina jersey in the NBA. In 2008, the Lakers rocked another throwback uniform, this time the Magic Lakers jerseys. Funnily enough, the Lakers decided to actually rock short shorts for one half of one of the games that they wore these, and it actually looked hilarious. Um, they actually changed to normal length at halftime because a lot of the players didn't like it. Um, also, in 2008, the Lakers went to the finals again, featuring jerseys similar to 2004 with a logo across from the O'Brien. They wore the yellow, purple, and white this year. Also, in 2008, the Lakers were already a staple in the Christmas Day games, but from 2008 until 2012, the Lakers wore a snowflake patch on their white jerseys on Christmas Day. In 2009, the Noche Latina Los jerseys were introduced for many teams, and this was the Los Lakers version. Also, in 2009, the Lakers went to the finals again and featured the O'Brien Trophy on their home away in Sunday Whites, just like before. Again, in 2010, the Lakers went to the finals, but this year, the finals patch actually replaced the NBA logo and looked a little bit different as well. They were their home away in Sunday Whites again this year. In 2011, the Lakers actually wore Lakers throwbacks again, but these were the 1971 version and featured white numbers instead of purple numbers. In 2012, the Lakers wore the all-white Christmas jersey, which were white with just an outline of purple, and then later that season, they wore the Los Lakers Noche Latina jerseys from years past. In 2013, the Lakers Hollywood Night alternate was unveiled, which was a blacked out version of their jersey. These were used for the 13 and 14 season. Also, the Lakers wore the sleeved Latin Knights Los Lakers jersey. On Christmas this season, they wore the sleeve jerseys with the silver logo in the front and the numbers on the sleeves that was kind of uh, uniform throughout the league. In 2014, like with every other team, the NBA actually changed the position of the NBA logo on the jerseys. They moved the NBA logo from the front to the back above the name. This changed the purple, yellow, and white jerseys. Also, in 2014, the NBA decided to change their best jerseys and add sleeves to the Hollywood Knights jersey. And on Christmas this year, the NBA wore the Christmas present jerseys, um, which featured NBA's player's first name on the back below the name. So you had like Kobe over top of purple. It's pretty cool. Um, in 2015, the Lakers wore the cream Christmas jerseys with the curse of Lakers on the front. Also during this year, the Lakers wore throwback jerseys for the Magic Johnson era again with the color inside of the number. In 2016, the Lakers wore the last Christmas Day uniform, the all-white jerseys with Los Angeles in cursive across the front in purple. In the 2017 offseason, the NBA changed their uniform supplier to Nike, which brought a lot of changes to the league. One, the Nike logo was now present on all jerseys, and two, each team can obtain a jersey sponsor. The Lakers decided to go with the company Wish. The five jerseys worn this season were not much different from before, 
but they had the yellow, the purple, and the white jerseys, which pretty much stayed the same. The Lakers were also one of the eight teams to wear a throwback this season, deciding to go with the MPLS jersey of their origin. Then, the final jersey was revealed right around Christmas for every team in the league, which was actually a Kobe Bryant-inspired black Mamba jersey. This jersey is all black, it's featured a snakeskin print on the jersey, and was designed by Kobe himself. Yeah, so that has been it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'm actually going to go ahead and start up a contest for you guys. Um, down in the description, all you have to do is go to my Twitter. Go ahead, you have to be following me, so go ahead and click that follow button. And um, then tweet at me my most recent video game purchase. Now, I know that sounds kind of random in a very, very large area of time and everything like that but i'm actually going to trim that down a little bit it's going to be a cartridge based game so that means it was made from like the 80s to about 2001 and um it has something to do with the color yellow um so it's a lot like lakers yellow you know what i'm saying um recently picked this up so uh hopefully you guys can guess it you're um so i'm gonna give you like three guesses a day or something like that i guess so um go down and look in the description if it's if it hasn't ended it'll still say like yo check this out but um if it's ended i'll just put in the description like who the winner was or whatever um but go ahead and go follow me and tweet at me and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this if i have to pick a favorite from this time um i think it'll be hard not to say the kobe bryant uh the kobe bryant lakers jerseys that came out this year those are just classics and those just look super good especially with the snake skin um it really makes me excited to see what nike has to offer in the future so uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later bye